Hey guys, welcome to my newest Let's Play, Pen Nerds Out for a Solid 20 Minutes. Okay, no, it's Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, but seriously, I may actually nerd out more in this LP than I did in Okami, which is saying something. Alchemy, demonology, alternate history, JoJo's bizarre adventure references, multiple upraised middle fingers aimed squarely at Konami. This game is a fertile ground for my usual brand of over-analysis and over-explanation. Also, it's a shitload of fun to play, which is why I'm doing it. So a little backstory on this game. On May 11th, 2015, a Kickstarter launched, complete with awesome video. Koji Igarashi, the director of most of the awesome Metroidvanias from Symphony of the Night through Order of Ecclesia, wanted to make another game like that. But with Konami lost in a haze of pachinko machines and God of War clones, where was he going to get the funding? He asked for $500,000, mostly to show possible backers that there was a market for the game, the game was fully funded within hours. At the end of the 30-day period, the game had made 11 times goal, not counting an extra 200000 from PayPal backers. Four years of development then passed, full of anticipation, fear, people bitching about graphics, people predicting doom, gloom, and a repeat of the Mighty Number no. 9 fiasco, and the occasional message from Igarashi just to let us know he was thinking about us. And then finally, the game dropped. It growing pains, but the critical reception was overwhelmingly positive. I, of course, am a huge Metroidvania fan and have been since, well, Super Metroid, really. And, of course, I started my channel playing Aria of Sorrow, so there was never any question of whether I'd do this game for the channel. Once I got the Switch version patched, anyway, and then I bought the Steam version, anyway. I still don't regret my decision to get the Switch version. I very much enjoy playing the game on the go, and in handheld mode it looks and runs like a dream. The only issues are with the docked mode, occasional chugging, and the particle effects aren't quite up to snuff. Nothing that really affects my enjoyment. But for you guys, I wanted to put the game's best face forward, and without a doubt, that's the Steam version. So come and join me as we take a trip back into gothic horror, exploration, and a reminder that in the world of video games, historical accuracy is a dirty word. Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome to my newest Let's Play, which you've already seen the introduction for, so yay, it's Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. So let's start. Alright, uh, this was a failed recording, so we're just going to, um, yeah, uh, we're, we're just going to delete this. Uh, I don't know what happened, so yes. Alright, let's try this again. So we're going to start off, we're just going to use Miriam. If you put in a backer ID... Um, you can get a special weapon, but I don't remember any of them offhand, and I'd just as soon play the vanilla game for a Let's Play anyway. So we're gonna just go with Miriam on normal difficulty, because yeah, I love this. You don't get an instruction booklet with games anymore, so this, these little things, the, the extra, the hints really are helpful. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass, but not all welcomed the change. In 1783, this just as the fires Hader, of the, the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild. Fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Alchemists with wealthy patrons. Through this Reconduct is an alternate parts, history. The alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Oops. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jebel, a boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. A girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten Did they years like have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. 
demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Why does a castle of hell have crosses on Upon the spires? Upon Jebel is the architect of this new, blood-stained ritual. Title drop! Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. This looks so pretty. I'm playing this on the PC version mostly because it looks better than the Switch version. I still love the Switch version. I think it's good for what I wanted it to be, but <sighs> this looks so much better. Johannes. Oh, good. Our model loaded Are this you time. You certain it was? It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brothers subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there, packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. So now we can kick and jump. Unlike Alucard, whose main attack is a punch on the ground and a kick in the air, Miriam's unarmed attack is just a kick. God, this is... it's very responsive, very fluid. Now we can open the main menu. Good, Miriam has a head. Uh, she didn't uh, the last time. It was very glitchy, and then it crashed, so... And now we're going to go with the Kung Fu shoes, because knives have, like, no freaking range. Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is... I love his knees I'll quaking. I'll take care of it. Just keep whackalating it. It really can't attack. It's it's got pretty a pretty long stun animation. Shard, a crystallized form of demon power. It cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. Conjure shard. Press Y to trigger a projectile magic. Consumes MP. Cerulean Splash. Launch a, launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. Was that a shard? Yes, Johannes. The t tutorial just told us that. I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Ew. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. That's not a good sound. Aww. Uh. There is a... How do they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the sh... Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. 
Uh, there is a great glitch that can happen there. Sometimes the demon and the sailor have their ma models switched. It happened in my test recording, my first test recording, that it didn't actually record. I was so pissed. Ah, oh, because it's so funny. Okay, so meet our first demons, the Mort. We have an archive, which I will look through later. You can run, you can jump. You, it's uh, analog, you can hold A to jump higher. I like this tutorial. I like a lot about this game, the way it's handled. And we get a potion. Yes, we can use inventory. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Use the... You gotta get close, though. She only has so much range with that unarmed thing. Those tentacles do not look good. They really, really do not look good. So, we're gonna whack things. Just kick, kick them. And then I kick her, sir. Yeah, uh... Okay, new enemy. Meet the Aya or Ayla, Elo, I think. Spelled. Nice thing about hang. Oh shit! I thought you were dead. Oops. Well, that was. Don't worry, actually, because I got. Oh. Well, at least I missed that. Good. You're, yeah. E I think the Greek pronunciation would be Elo. There we go. You want to time that, because it does sway back and forth. Right now, that magic is a lot more, um... Oh, wow. I didn't realize. Yeah, that magic is a lot more... And we get a country dress. Uh, I'm going to try and get as many achievements as I can. I won't get all of them. Yeah, notice, achievement unlocked. Might have known. You get that for the first time you find a breakable wall. Because, you know, Castlevania-esque. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm impressed, actually. Yeah, the... Honestly, like, you do regen health. Okay, this asshole. He's big. He's bulky. Um, you want to be careful of that flail. But a few shots of your thing will take him down pretty fast. And you want this rusted ring. Actually, so we're going to open our inventory. That is a crafting item. We'll deal with that later. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to open my inventory. Back. Oh, God. I'm having some, I'm having some issues with the uh, fr shit freezing. Okay. Back. Back again. What the... <sighs> Okay, that's not good. Um, let's try this again. Okay, well, that's fine. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, this is bad. Alright, screw it. Um, I want to equip that, but, you know, if... Yeah, use LNA. Let's see what happens now. Nope, it's still fucked. Huh, that's weird. Hold on one second. I, I have an idea. Uh, back. Nope, it's just freaking stuck. Okay, then. Well, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um. Yep, candles can drop mana roses. Because I was out, because I was low on magic. Much like in Aria of Sorrow, if you're out, if you're low on magic, candles drop mana, which is roses in this case instead of hearts, because yeah. But if you're full up, they drop money. Which is pretty nice. Okay, let's see. Now we can slide. That's nice. Good. Tunic. I have no idea why this thing is so freaking um, buggy. Okay. From my studies, I've, yeah, we have our attributes, elements. Slash, thrust, and strike. Those are the physical ones. Fire, ice, thunder, lightning. Or thunder, light, dark, Poison, Curse, and Stone. Yeah. And if we come through here, we get... A save point! Yes, I would like to save my progress. Um, hmm. Oh, no. What the... Uh. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna save. Alright, that's good. So, yeah, for some reason, on the my... On this screen, for whatever reason... 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's frogged up. Hmm, that's not good. For whatever reason, it's just not letting me uh, do anything. So uh, we're just going to continue on. I'll, I'll probably... Until I absolutely feel... <sighs> this, is, this is not good. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to, I'm going to call it here. I will be right back, guys. So, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. Oi. Uh, let's, um... So as you can see, we've got... We're gonna use that country dress we got by sneaking up there. And that rusted ring. Very nice. Oh, I don't need to favorite it. That's fine. Back out. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It's just for some reason, the directional input was disabled. Whatever. Okay, so now we're good. Um, normally I would, you would go, I would go that way, but we want to go this way first. And we get this hairband, which I'm going to equip because it's actually better than our horns. It, not, not in terms of, oh yeah, it is better in terms of defense, but also more importantly in terms of int. Int ups your uh, magic regen, I believe. And I know it also up ups attack. And we got an MP max up. They, of course, give. You want to find all these max ups because uh, this game is a little harder, actually, than Symphony of the Night. Not hugely difficult, but a little. And we get a gun. I'm going to equip it and then probably go back to the Kung Fu shoes. Um... Right. I'm not hugely fond of guns. That's why. They're not horrible, but they're they're not really very good for breaking candles, for one thing. I find them difficult to hit with, but uh, a lot of people like gun builds, and that's the great thing about Bloodstained, is that you basically have like see what I mean about these but you have yeah the gun the bullets the infinite bullets are weak and the consumable bullets are well consumable but that cannon mort you notice we were able to kill it without getting into its aggro distance that is is really nice. So, we do this. And break a wall! Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try, I, I'm gonna try and get a lot of achievements for you guys, but... Okay, so I don't hate guns, but... Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Kung Fu shoes just because I like them better. So, we come up here, get that, go back down. Morts never drop anything. No shards, no items. Everything else has a shard and has at least one um, item to drop. Well, no, bosses don't always have items to drop. But standard, standard dudes do. Do not waste your attacks on morts, by the way. Oh gosh, I have no idea now how long I've been playing. Oh well. Bah. I guess I'll probably go until I reach the next, um, save point. You know what? Screw you guys. I don't need the experience that badly. Ah. Uh. The water effects are amazing, and this is really where one of the ways, I, in my opinion, the Switch version does kind of fall down. They don't look nearly as good. So we got the map of the Galleon. So this is the only time you have to find an area map. Other than after this, you just, you make your own. Um, you may really want to grind these suckers for flame cannon shards. Because shards have but what they call a rank, 
and a grade. Grade is how many shards you've got. It's very much like the souls in Dawn of Sorrow. I need to stop running into assholes and start killing them. <sighs> okay. Now we go up. And notice that there are chests marked on your map. That's, that's very nice. You gotta get close to them, but... Okay, uh, something else we can do. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can't do it. Well, it would help if I was doing the right... Yep, there we go. Let's see. Down quarter circle. You can do it in the air. Uh, but of course, I suck. Yeah, what I was doing was a technique. They're fighting game movements. And here, you see? It's, uh, it, they, they use ma magic, and these things are used by speedrunners all the hecking time. We're just gonna save again. Yeah, should be fine. Because if I have to start this episode over, I start from the beginning and just, you know, Look, it's been, it's kind of been a day. Oh, well. I mean, I know this thing should have all the patches. I only downloaded it a little while ago. Okay, a scarf. That's... Why is it tattered? I don't want to know. So, and as you can see, everything except armor changes Miriam's model. So now you can have the rainbow pimp gear look that you always wanted, or, you know, were afraid of. Okay, hey light, yeah, these things drop. I might, I may wind up grinding these suckers. Not this one. Yeah, if you want, if you're really good at, you can actually, speedrunners use that, um, f that flying kick or flashing kick or whatever the heck it's called to, uh, ouch. <laughs> oh, that was good. I, I didn't actually hit, get hit. Yeah, this is a ghost. Um, they, they use that to get a second jump. There we go. Levels are always nice. Uh, you definitely want to use your, um, what's it called? Your, uh, your f water water ball on, I would say suggest using water ball on the cannons because they're fire eep and use flame cannon on the jellyfish because they're water aspected or however you want to say it I didn't get you? Nah, good enough yeah uh You'll want to make good use of your shards, which I have not been doing, actually. Uh, directional shards, you can aim them, but you don't have to. Uh, if you hit the uh, right trigger without aiming, you just shoot straight ahead. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of writhing limbs. Corn seed. Those seeds will be useful for something later. Trust me. One thing you may want to... Wow. You may want to do is get up in that guy's uh, face. And we open another wall. And now you can go right back to this save point and save. So, let's see. How long have we been playing? Saving progress, yes, okay. This has been, let's see how much play time have I got. 20 minutes. Yes, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna keep going. I mean, it's gonna be huge anyway, but this is the first episode. Might as well, right? You guys should get some interesting stuff. What's my level? Four, okay. I wanna be level six by the to face the boss. If you didn't know there was a boss, there's no hope for you whatsoever. So push this box. In the demo, sometimes this box wouldn't move. 
That's a whip. They're odd weapons. I'm not a I'm not a fan. They the they're very slow unless you know how to There you go. They're very slow weapons unless you know how to um Yeah, you can use the flying kick off of here. Like if you jump. Yep. That was not what I wanted to do, but okay. I am sucking bad today. Oh well. Right. That was everything. Those guys will just keep coming, by the way. And that is a boss door. And I'm going to show you grinding this time and no other time. Okay, these rats, they can't hurt you. They don't, I don't think they give you experience, but they might. And we get more gold. Red chests always have gold in them, by the way. Blue chests, well, you'll learn more about blue chests later. We're going to save again. Save. And let's see, I am at level four. I want to be level six before I face. You know what? what am I missing? Huh. There we are. How did I miss getting this stuff? I was just not paying attention. We're gonna go to the short sword. Claymores are very powerful. Back doofus. But slow. I like short swords. So I want to grind this jer jerk. And of course I'm going to do it with Ow. There we go. Um, I want to grind the Dullahammers because they are they drop a really good piece of headgear. And also, you know, I get XP. This is going to be the only time I'm really going to show you much grinding. Because grinding is boring. But, iron, that's not what I wanted. Sometimes you can't see when they drop a bag because of the front stuff, so you gotta go out. Bronze? Let's see. The other thing you can do is get in close, and they can't hurt you too well, but uh, as you can see, I'm not doing a lot of damage to them. So I would just snipe them with the water attack until such time as they drop what we're looking for. Better. Come on, dude. I'm going to keep it up because I really want that piece of armor for um, dealing with uh, the boss, so we're going to just keep going. Sometimes they drop it immediately, but sometimes they don't. All right, if this keeps up, I'm going to just, I will eventually cut to getting it, but let's see. Ow, well, that was stupid. Okay, well, that worked. Eh, don't worry, and of course, don't worry about my health, because there's a save room right there. That's what makes this the best place to grind, in my opinion. Yeah, sometimes enemies drop money instead of uh, items. Yeah, that's a thing. Alright. Come on, dude. All right, 10 more and then I cut. Let's see. 
you know what, screw it. At this point, I'm gonna go, s I'm not, no, not, not screw the 10 more and then I cut. Um, sure, let's save. I always, you know me, save early, save often. But this'll, this'll give me more time to, more mu I don't have to keep just, you know, refilling my magic. Two. Sea urchin. Okay, that's three of his four drops. Yeah, he has four drops. Enemies can have up to four drop items, plus a shark. Okay, well, we're level six now. And he dropped iron. Nah. Unfortunately, what I want is a, his rear drop, and that was... Uh, there are nine more. Okay. Eight more. Seven more. Also, items will drop at the moment of death. You don't have to wait for the um, death animation to finish. Six more. Come on. Five more. Come on, dude. Four more. Sea urchin and bronze. Sometimes they can drop more than one item at once. Three more. Well, I got his shard, which is actually pretty nice, though not for what we're gonna you do here. Dulla hammer head. Or Dulla hammer head flail. It's, it's, it's not bad. Uh, two more. Ow. Come on, dude. Drop me a. Drop me your rarest drop, please. Alright, All right, after this, I'm gonna just grind off screen until I get it. So, I will be back. Uh, I'm gonna just go down here and uh, fill up. Oh, and I'll show you this. You don't have to save. I probably should have, oh well. Oh, and if you don't save, you can then, and then you decide, oh yeah, I should save. You can do that. What's my play time? 27 minutes. Not quite half an hour. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to call it here. Um, when I come back, I will show you the item I got from grinding those assholes. So, was nice. thank you for joining me for Let's Play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. The Ars Goetia is one of the five books in a work known as the Lesser Key of Solomon, or the Legamaton. Goetia derives from a word referring to the conjuration of demons. Media in general, and the Castlevania series in particular, has mined this book for demon names for ages. The Legamaton purports to be the grimoire used by Solomon himself during the building of the Great Temple, but was probably put together in the mid-17th century, based on older works, including the Pseudomonarchia Demonium. Many of these Goetic demons were later the subject of a book called The Infernal Dictionary by Jacques de Plancy, which came with illustrations. Many, though not all, of the demon designs in this game are quite obviously inspired by these illustrations. Despite the Goetia containing 72 different demons, only 23 of them actually appear in Bloodstained. I'll be ending each episode with a profile of a different demon, and if the LP doesn't run long enough to get all 23, I'll think of something.